Hey everyone, welcome to Cam Keyframe Presents 12 Days of Christmas 2021, where I create tutorials 12 days in a row and give away the project files for free on my Patreon page. The link is in the description down below. And the finish line is in sight because today is day number 11. And today we're going to take a look at how you can create this kind of shiny glimmer effect on myself here. This is me. Um, so, and you get this nice, uh, these little stars popping up here and we get this kind of glimmer shiny thing um, over the photo itself. So I'm going to show you how you can create this and let's recreate it in this empty composition here. We have this, all of these shapes here and uh, let's lock it all. Only the photo, oh, we only want to unlock the photo. What we're going to do is add an effect to it. It's called CC Light Sweep. So go to your effects and presets or I'm going to go to help here. Type in CC Light Sweep. Here you go, this one. And this creates this nice ray here. So at first we're going to uh, get the direction to, we can change the direction like this. And I created this at 45 degrees. So let's put it at 45 here. So it has the same diagonal line as this one here. I'm going to go to my shape and click on smooth because I want a smooth little line here. And let's just drag over this area. You can see there, there it's already looking better than before. This is the center point here. Let's uh, turn up the width to, let's say, 110 to make it a bit bigger. Uh, the sweep intensity, you can drag that up to make it like really or not bright. Let's turn it down to maybe 5. No, 10. It's fine, 10 is fine. And the edge intensity, edge intensity, because what this effect does as well is it kind of detects the edges here. So if I turn this to zero, the edge is gone. But if I turn this up, it detects that you have an edge, which uh, makes it really cool. Like it's it's detecting, kind of creating this highlight over your shapes, which is really nice. So let's turn the edge uh, intensity to 25, maybe not too uh, hard and the edge thickness we can turn that up like if you can see how thick your edge would be let's turn that up to maybe 20 nice so if we move this thing now it's it's a bit heavy uh, a heavy effect if you turn all of, up all these parameters but I'm going to click and drag and place this sweeping effect over here let's go to my direction or my center sorry click on the stopwatch and then over here I'm gonna place this down here Boom. So now we have this sweep going on and let's have it render out for a little bit. So there's kind of this light streak and we can see the edge being lit up here as well. Light streak going over the image here, which looks really great. So we get this nice little edge here. So that's uh, part one. And then uh, part two, we're going to create these little glimmer, shiny star effects here like this. It's really easy. We're going to create a shape. Let's go to a shape tool and then go to the star tool. If I click and drag, you get this star. We don't want that. So I'm going to click and drag. And if I hold it, hold my mouse button and if I press the arrow key up or down, you can create more points to this star. And I only want four like this. But I want them to be, a, now it's like kind of a thick star. Oh, like that. And I want this to be uh, more skinny. So if you hold Command, or I think that's Control, no? Go Control, I think, on Windows, it's Command on Mac. You can click, hold that, and drag out, and then you can kind of make the the thickness of this star uh, like this. I want it like this, and if you hold Shift, then it's like perfectly straight. Cool. So that's a nice looking star. And then we're gonna drag this, scale this down, put the anchor point here in the middle, kind of, and then drag this down a little bit. Nice. So that looks good. And we're going to give this an effect, and it's going to be a Gaussian blur. So blur, Gaussian blur, why can I ever find this? Yeah, and then drag this up a whole lot, and a bit like this. Yeah, there you go. And we're going to give this some animation, of course. So go to your position and your rotation, Shift R. So position here, no, not position, scale, sorry. Scale and rotation, and scale this up to this size and then here we're going to put it at zero and then here at zero again so it's kind of scaling up and down and give this some nice uh, easing like this with my plugin flow highly recommend it so now we, we get this shape like this which looks really cool maybe turn the blur a little bit down it's a bit too heavy maybe yeah all right so that looks nice and it's going to be a bit faster, I think. And also we're going to add some um, rotation to it as well. So I want it to 
start from the rotation from this point and I'm click on a keyframe and I zoom in here and then over there I want it to rotate to that side and now I'm going to place these on the first and last keyframe and give this an I want it to kind of start fast and end a bit slow so we can have this kind of rotation into the screen like that so we're going to get this bling effect you need to imagine the sound effect bling here which makes it uh, better nice okay so cut this layer off here and here because it's beginning and ending there and then I'm going to zoom out a bit here as well and then here put it as fit and right now we can duplicate this one press command D and place that over there press D command D again and over there there and over there maybe I don't know maybe here on my earlobe like that and then uh, select them all I'll go to S and then I'm going to set on the middle one here and I'm going to drag these small make them a bit smaller some of these to have a bit more randomness and this one as well a bit smaller and then we're going to kind of drag them randomly on the timeline so we have a bit more randomness in when they pop onto the screen where is my here's my layer I have these keyframes here Let's put them over there a bit faster so now we have everything moving at the same time so now we get this nice glimmer of a little render let it, let's make it render out for a sec here nice so that's our shiny glimmer effect cool this was day number 11 the last day is tomorrow if you would like to download the project files for this video head on over to the description box down below and click on the link for the patreon page there i will upload all of the project files for free and while you're there maybe consider subscribing to the patreon channel as well for even more cool stuff thanks for watching and i'll see you tomorrow